Hey there, so today we have another review. This is a beer from Pariah. This is out of Baltimore. So I guess they've been around enough to make a double lock, which is one of the, I believe, outside barrel aged beers, probably the longest style to actually make. So really what it is, a big multi lager, um, generally above what, like 7%, yeah, 6.5, 7%, and it takes a lot of lagering time to make a lager beer of that ABV. Um, don't really know too much about it, Bavarian style double lock. Bavarian style. Are there different German styles of the double bock? I don't know. Beer's quite dark for double bock, huh? This guy rocks it at what? 6.8. So 6.8, not a huge, huge beer. This is a very dark double bock. Wow. Yeah. That looks like, I mean, that is, looks almost like a Baltic Porter. That looks like a Baltic Porter in my mind. It's not quite black. It's very, like, medium to deep brown color. You definitely see some, like, a little bit of, like, brown edges to it, a little bit of like ruby, eh, not quite ruby, but just like brownish on the edge. Um, also looks like a porter. Yeah, looks like a porter. Okay. But very dark for a double box. Here's what, how they got it so dark. Um, generally, they're more like brown. It's very dark for a double box. I don't think Germany produces a double box this dark. Can you post the comments below? I don't think so. Mm. So you can immediately smell it. This is the reason why this beer is that color. Um, this beer definitely doesn't smell uh, specifically like German style blah blah blah. It has this kind of a light roasty character. They've definitely put in some kind of like um, malt that has more leaning chocolatey flavor flavors. Yeah. Full blind, I would guess this was like Moma. Orange. Look at this, guys. Very chocolatey. Um, you could be sitting around somewhere around Porter, Baltic Porter. Maybe not quite like American Stout, but it is somewhere in the Porter Stoutish range versus the uh, Double Bock, right? Yeah, a little bit like spicing, a uh, little spice quality in there. A little. Cheers. Interesting. Yeah, that tastes nothing like a Double Bock. Um, or not nothing, but like <laughs> it tastes like a um, uh, who? Enneagram, Enneagram. Shout out to um, Scott who sent me uh, one of the beers. Um, they combine sort of the style of like Schwarzbier and Doppelbach, which is like a great combination of styles. Like, you know, surprised that the Germans have, or I guess the Germans are more traditional, but like, I'm happy that American brewing German styles have like sort of um, adapted some like adop uh, adapted some uh, like uh, influences and like sort of adjusted them. And one of the things you can do is make a sort of like a multi bigger kind of Doppelbach, but also have that light barely roasty kind of thing that Schlossbier does. And it's sort of like that here. It's it literally is a beer that I reviewed. I forget the name of the beer, but it tastes like an in-between of an Imperial Schwarzbier and a double bar. Up front, it is lightly chocolatey, uh, lightly nutty. Um, there's a lingering kind of like malt tone that sort of hits. Very clean, very dry. Hits at that kind of like really intense complexity for a beer that's like under 7%, right? For the complexity of this beer, you're thinking like Imperial Stout, Baltic Porter. Um, you're thinking about beers that are like over 8%, right? You're thinking about like bigger, bigger beers, uh, barley wine, etc. cetera. Um, this really like, has such about a heft for 6.8% um, beer. Uh, one of the great examples is like Iga Celebrator, which I think sits at like, <sighs> correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like 6.5 and it is such a malt complexity. For a beer that is just slightly elevated or somewhat elevated in uh, ABV, but like we're talking about people that are drinking like IPAs at 7, 8, 8.5, 9, right? Um, it's really fun. This is, uh, I'm surprised they didn't really like call it something different. Uh, granted, they have the Halloween theme on it, and it is. So the cool thing is that this is called Silence of the Bach. Um, I'm going to announce the name um, at first, but um, it, was can it looks like a Halloween beer, right? The red and black. But this was canned literally like just the same time as the other can, which is about three weeks ago. Um, it is, in my mind, a Schwartz Doppelbach. I'm going to call that style. Oh. I kind of chocolate tone in here. Nice rich maltiness, rye, toasted bread, hazelnut. More nuttiness, a little bit more complexity, like like walnuts, walnuts for sure, yeah, walnuts, toasted walnuts. Um, really nice the depth. This kind of like a, kind of like 
explosive breadiness as well. But the roast is quite distinct. They definitely threw some roast of malt in here, giving this beer like a really nice kind of touch of just like um, like medium minus some moderate roast. Like, hey, Nigel, I know you're a black cat, but it's a dark beer. It doesn't need anything else. So, what does that say about the beer? Uh, jet black dark garden. So again, they, they know they're not going on um, traditional style of Bavaria style double lock, but they call it that. Uh, makes sense. It's a Munich caramel roasted malts, yeah. Uh, organic demerara sugar. So I guess they're drying it out with the sugar, so like we get a little bit of that kind of like um, Belgian influence in the beer because they're capitalizing the beer, uh, adding sugar to elevate the alcohol versus um, German beer, which <laughs> does not add sugar to their beer. Uh, brown sugar, figs, rustic dark bread. Yeah, luscious mouthfeel. Fantastic. They did a great job setting this beer under seven and having the malt complexity and the dryness. I guess that's one of the tricks in doing these German beers that you can actually start instead of decocting, sort of getting a little bit of Dermara sugar in there, offering a little bit of malt complexity, dryness without like the complexity of the processes of the brewing process. Again, there's uh, one, there's, there's a million ways to skin a cat, but as long as you make great beer, it's great beer. This I like. This is fantastic. Um, I wish, actually, there's a little bit more mid palate. I find the beer slightly. I think that's under 7%. How much do you expect from me? But yeah, I wish there was a little bit more kind of like mid palate to it, but it's absolutely fantastic. I like this beer. Mm. It's fun. I will say it tastes like a really fun adjustment on double bock. I like it because like sometimes you have double bock and it's all kind of this toasted bread and all the like bread thing. But you sometimes wish it was just a little bit more chocolate and coffee and it's fun. So I really wish more breweries would do something like this. Again, it, it, it is a combination of Svalsbia and Doppelbach, and um, it's fantastic. I'm going to go with 94. It's really good. That is Silence of the Bach. Fantastic. Cheers later.